Hello, welcome back. It's so good to have you catching up with us today with our special co-host, Ms. Julia Gillard, Deputy Leader of the Opposition. If you've just tuned in, Julia's already told us, number one, that her partner Tim, thank goodness he can cook, otherwise the whole family would starve. Number two, <laughs> she's told us that she doesn't mind people talking about her hair. And number three, she's told us she didn't realise she had a strange voice until people pointed it out to her. <laughs> but tell us, Julia, is, in January in the Bulletin article, you said that you didn't think it was possible to be Prime Minister and a mother. Do you stand by that comment? And... It was actually a bit misreported. What I no no imagine that you I mean, weren't misreported. Something misreported in Australia. I've been doing at uh, women's events, particularly a line of comedy where I say, let's try and imagine John Howard as a woman or Peter Costello as a woman, oh. and then people get a bit anxious at that point and start <laughs> thinking about Alexander Downer and. <laughs> and but anyway, when you get them back focused on the past, I try and get them to think. Could they have been women and had exactly the careers that they've had? Mm. Um, you know, could Peter Costello be a mother and a father, a mother of three rather than a father of three, mm. and be treasurer? Mm. What extra stresses and strains would that have brought? And so I, I talked about that in the bulletin, and it got reported as, you know, mother can never be PM. I obviously mm. think that a mother can certainly be the prime minister, but there would be a special set of issues for a mother that mm. this nation hasn't had to work through because we've had. Uh, male politicians with non-working wives mm. uh, in traditional family groups. So Do they have a creche at Parliament House for the women that work there? Oh, it's a very sore point. Uh, really? we, we built that spectacular building. Uh, it's only sort of 20 odd years ago. No creche put in no it. It's creche. got a swimming pool, gymnasium, meditation so room, not, bar. It's not mother, fr <laughs> it's not mother <laughs> friendly. It's not mother friendly and after all of these years they finally put in a little room for very small children. Uh, but when that building is in full operation, it's like 3,000 people who work there. Mm. It's pollies, it's staff, it's, you know, everything. Mm. And just didn't think about it. Mm. Okay. Is that because, like, the whole structure of power in this country is still really geared towards that old-fashioned male head of family hierarchy? I think... And does that go down through the, all the laws as well? It does. All of them, in, Julia. I want you to go through every single one of them. Right. <laughs> well, we'll start with the Fish Act and work, yes. work from there. It's changing. It, that's the traditional model, you know. The traditional model is a male politician. Women are coming into politics now in increasing numbers, and they've brought with them a lot of change. But uh, more needs to be done. But I'm really optimistic that the rate of change is quite quick, and we're going to get there. That's great. I'd like to talk about David Hicks. He's finally been charged. Mm. The charge to me seems like a, something that's been invented just What's for him. What's the charge? Um, I forget the exact Special wording. David Hicks's guilty charge, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, I forget the exact wording of the charge, but it, it's not one that's in the statutes. Apparently it's one that's more or less been tailor-made just for his case. Do you think he's going to get a fair trial? I don't think he's going to get a fair trial under current circumstances. We've always said that David Hicks should be tried in a civilian court, whether that's here or in the United States, and whatever he's done, and I don't know whether he's guilty or innocent, but he but deserves a trial. It, my, my problem is that he is a prisoner of war. I mean, basically, he fired on Allied troops in Afghanistan. And someone said to me the other day, but surely under the Geneva Convention, as a prisoner of Did war... He, was it, it was alleged. No, he was, well, he was captured as a prisoner of war. That is a fact, um, mm. whether he's guilty or not. Uh, yeah. separate but, issue, but as a prisoner of war under the Geneva Convention, he should have had the right to a speedy trial, but of course the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, they don't sign the Geneva Convention, so I can kind of understand oh, oh. why we're, you know, because was that the problem, they said, I'm not sure, I'm not up on Just this issue. Just because someone Is else it, doesn't do it the right thing doesn't mean that we don't have to do the right thing. Can I just Americans ask, it, the right was thing. the big uproar that the charges took five years to come about? Because, mm -hmm. Yeah, because he was just waiting for five years without being charged. And I think that is against the law, isn't it? But, but that's what I'm saying. He was a prisoner of war. It wasn't like he was a civilian prisoner. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I'm really worried that we're going to make a martyr of this guy. I mean, really, he was running around with a pack of guys that cut people's heads off on television. So he's not this warm and fuzzy guy we should feel sorry for. I, I do believe he deserves that trial. It should have come a lot quicker. But by the same token... I'm not losing any, any sleep over the fact that he's there in Canberra for his suffering. Think? I think we've got to have uh, fair treatment for everybody, yes. e even, even people who may or may not have done the, the worst things. You know, the sort of hallmark of a civilised society mm -hmm. is we say everybody's going to get treated this way and if they've truly done something dreadful then society's going to punish them and they should go to jail. Uh, but we can't endlessly have people in this limbo land where we don't no, know definitely. whether they're guilty or innocent. Mm. And yeah, and no quarrel there. I'd like to see him fairly tried, fairly convicted and fairly executed fairly soon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now here's the thing, I was thinking, he was a 
currently pretty young in his early 20s. And people make mistakes, and apparently now he's um, trying to finish his HSC or matric or whatever you call it in other states. Um, mm. I, I don't know. Well, we, we have a national school know. curriculum. It'll all be the same age. In Adelaide, we called it for matriculation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Julia and I at Umbly High. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so, I mean, my question is, can people be forgiven? Can they make amends for what they've done? Can we hear his side of the story? I mean, he was a young man who, you know, who knows his background, who knows what kind of, you know, lots of guys yeah, go yeah, and join I, the army and do stuff. My nephew was a young man. He's in Afghanistan now, so you can imagine he doesn't feel too sorry for David Hicks. Mm. Well, look, at apart from David Hicks, oh, I would also... very diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I've got Lisa's so nephew so on no, no, there, there are two sides. Look, if he's... What we've got to find out is what did he do exactly, and yeah. what's the appropriate exactly. punishment yep. for yeah. it. And, and, you know, I'm not a defender of David Hicks. I'm a defender of his right to a fair trial. Uh, and, yeah, exactly. and if he's then found guilty, he mm. ought to be punished severely uh, because if he's committed some dreadful act in Afghanistan, of course he should be punished. But we don't know and we can't know. And I don't through this, think through the sort of trial that he's going to get we're really ever going to know. He needs to be tried fairly in a civilian yes. court. And public feeling is that he should come back. What's this story about um, uh, John Howard now deciding that um, um, same-sex couples should have uh, welfare rights? And This seems a bit of another, another turnaround. It's been in the papers that Warren Inch, actually, a government member, has mm -hmm. been campaigning for a while for uh, the same treatment for same-sex couples in terms of Commonwealth benefits, mm. so whether it's welfare benefits or superannuation or whatever. And for years and years, I don't think John Howard's been kind of with their, no, uh, with these, Warren these are, on this agenda. People from his own party are now pushing from the back benches. Yes. Maybe right, a light went on. <laughs> what, because there's an election coming? <laughs> no, that they should have equal rights. He saw a light and it was pink. Oh. <laughs> or rainbow colours. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe he thought the election, maybe he just oh, you're went a cynic, on. Julia. <laughs> I think in election year you do see a lot of things changing really quickly. You in do, the I mean, the it, it, that's so apparent to me that so many changes are just suddenly happening. And well, don't you guys think that whether it's Labor or Liberal, if it's a good change, like equal rights for same-sex people, mm -hmm. for Absolutely. homosexual people, then that's great. It should be a bipartisan yeah. thing, definitely. Yes. We could yeah. go on and on and on and on and on and on. And I'm sure we will after the break. <laughs> to the phone poll again. Would you vote for a female Prime Minister? Are we advanced enough as a country to actually say, you know what, we could have a woman lead, just like New Zealand have Helen Clark, we could have a woman in a position of power. And like Maggie Thatcher. Like Maggie Thatcher. She had voice lessons though, Julia. Oh, it's like mm. Maggie Thatcher. Had I love lessons. Maggie Thatcher. Have you ever thought of doing... No, I don't want to end up sounding like Maggie Thatcher. No, 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 no. <laughs> If you say yes, phone 1902 559 or if you say no, 1902 or text Yes or no to one double nine five nine six hundred. All the latest and news after the break, plus an interview with the actor Rupert Everett. Stick around mm. for that. But first.